In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create nine options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you these four options and then it will surround with this different hexagon shapes with nine options. You can add the title, the option number, and you can add some detailed text to it. Again, if you want, you can replace this option number with the icons as well. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light grid and fill background then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the shape hexagon click it here height i'm going to make it as 1.6 and the width i'm going to make it as 1.8 and then I'm going to uh, rotate this one. This particular part should come at the top. Okay, so for that Alt and the right arrow key. Okay, and then you can just drag this small mode down so it be more, you can see here, uh, it is more sharper at the top and the bottom. So once this is done, let me just add one more shape. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'll keep it aside for my later use. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape, right mouse click, go to the format shape and make it somewhat transparent and then make sure that this is no outline and this is also no outline. All right. Now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and only the this part I would like to overlap here, the bottom part you can see here. Let me just zoom only this part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select this shape go to the shape format merge shape and i'm going to say intersect and then i'm going to put it on top of this let me just give some different color maybe a orange color you can see here remove the transparency and this one you can give maybe somewhat darker orange okay go to more colors you can increase it so it looks like this or you can give darker to this and lighter color to this all right so it looks like this i'm going to select both the shapes press ctrl g to group it all right i'm going to add one more shape with the white one so again i'm going to select this one ctrl c and ctrl v and i'm going to give this as a white color and shape outline i'm going to give some gray color okay so i'm going to place it here now around this one i'm going to uh paste this options okay so press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one here ctrl d add one more here okay that alignment we need to do properly again ctrl d align here now this one i'm going to duplicate this one i'm going to put it here and then again i'm going to surround this with these shapes ctrl d you can see here again control d so one two three four five six seven seven shapes are done so now i'm going to add one more here again if the space is not there you can select all the shapes by pressing ctrl a and move it up okay and then i'm going to add one more here you can see here and one more here Again, Control D. I'm just going to add one more here. You can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine options I've added. So press Control A and move it a little bit top. It doesn't matter if it is goes somewhat up also. That is not a problem. All right. So you can see here I've added these shapes. Now it's time for me to just change the color according to the requirement. So I can just go and choose any color. Maybe I can just choose a light green color with some dark green color you can see here like that you can just choose any color of your choice you can see here light and dark dark, uh, dark color combination so likewise you need to change the color of all these uh, hexagons and once this is done you can go to insert text box and i'm going to type title here title 01 I'm going to choose the font open sans or semi bold 
all right reduce the font size so this is my option number one control d so this will be two you can see here sorry control d so likewise we just need to put it one by one just press control d and finish it off so let me just quickly fin do this part and then you can add some detailed text into the white boxes this one so for that go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one and i don't want this much large text so i'm going to delete it center align reduce the size and i'm going to put it here all right you can make it maybe a gray color press ctrl d to duplicate again ctrl d ctrl d here all right so once this is done you can add some icons to it so go to insert icons and you can choose some uh, random nine icons so here i'm going to choose some nine icons any icons but for you you need to choose it wisely depending on the requirement so i'm going to make it as 0.4 itself and you can choose white color and then just put one icon for each option you can see here all right so there's one more left here all right so you can see so once this is done i'm going to select each option and group it or you can select hold the shift key select this option and press ctrl g so this one also ctrl g so likewise i'm going to make it one by one so here also i'm going to group it so for you you just need to change the this is done yeah control g control g that's it all right so once this is done go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to choose this white boxes go to the add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select basic zoom basic zoom should happen out like this okay and then this should happen maybe after previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here and you can increase the speed select all the animations go to the right mouse click go to the effect options and timings i'm going to make it as 0.3 so it becomes it comes very quickly the same animations i'm going to use it for these options add animation and i'm going to basic zoom click ok again this should happen after previous so this one okay i'm going to choose this options right mouse click effect options and this time it should be zoom in okay and timings i'm going to make it again 0 0.3 so now if i play you can see here it comes like this all right so this one will make it on click so again if i play when i click it comes like this